Brace yourself for a wild journey into the realm of epic entitlement. We're back today to explore the most annoying Karens and Kevins the internet has to offer. Let's get going. Here we have this old Kevin being rude and disrespectful, telling this woman to shut up, so she decided to teach him some respect and put him in his place. Hi, who am I, Jared? I've been waiting on this. What? What? Like, I'm, you're your best bet to just walk away. I'm confused. You, you have no business telling her to shut up. Oh, you did nothing. Come on. I'm waiting on you. Because what you know about to do is try to get me arrested. So come on, you gotta swing. So that way I'll be just as far as I'm gonna be Like, literally, just walk away. Just walk away. Like, are you kidding me? Like, what the f Check out this crazy woman going off, spouting all kinds of nonsense to the lady behind the camera. And I have no idea what she's on, but it must be pretty strong. Like you're slithering most. I'm just learning your Basai language. Your Basai Stop. language? It's all over your f***ing brother. Why? Because we're standing against you. My grandma's right behind you, f***ing traitor. Stop it. The trail. You're possessed by somebody. Who are you? I'm the Pualani of Guam. I'm the last. I'm the last of the Pierce bloodline. T -t -t I'm a fucking walking mermaid. Bitch. You better know what's up. It's a fucking sky. Bitch. Look up at the sky. That's God. You don't appreciate God because that's Apollo's greed. October 12th. Oh, lucky thing. I'm a fucking blessing blood. Stop it already. I'm the tip of the spear. You're lucky someone's gonna shank you and drink your. Blood. That's what we do, blood. Stop, Nelly. Do, what? You better know who stands behind me, but who's in your garden? Who put me in? Yeah. Stop it. They killed my Nino, huh? Who's your Nino? The, the guy you're talking to. Who? What do you mean, who? You showed me to him, and then you wired my cameras. What? I asked you the f***ing cameras now. I am telling the who truth. Who is your Nino? I don't even know your Nino. <laughs> Nelly. Yo, Stop. Stop it. sorry, then. Kiss my Hurry up before I take your bike. What? That's in the hulu and I'm finna book a dude. You better not touch me. You wanna see who's my... Who's mine? Huh? You wanna know who's gonna step next to me? Who? who? Stop! Who? Stop! That's in the hulu and I'm finna book a We're both gonna drink your blood. Cause we can. You took two of my little sisters. How long does Charlie bless? How much do you get blessed with her? Huh? Remember Maria? Her mom is one of me too. The last... Mm -hmm. Silence. You put oh 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 ooh. You put my daughter in jail. You don't even have kids. Yeah, so I don't have mercy. I don't have knowledge on mercy. This New York Kevin films himself stealing an orange on his way to audit a New York police department precinct. But he is shocked when he gets arrested for petty theft and can't believe that his own community turns on him because of the theft. Yeah, let's go back to the precinct. But I mean, I feel bad for people like that. I, I mean, damn. I want him to get the help that he needs, too. He said he had colon cancer. So, I don't know, man. Damn. I want like an apple. I want an orange, actually. I want a fucking orange. It's good. Yeah. Fuck out of here. It's my fucking neighborhood. I'll take whatever I want. I'm exercising my first amendment. I came in here. I wanted a complaint for him. I'm gonna film for my own protection because obviously I, I got ganged up. Now, they put me in handcuffs, they put me in a back cell like, like a filthy animal, right? For what reason? Trespassing in public? Come on, bro. So what do you think about that? You, you have no comment on that? So why'd you call me back for? What was the point of calling me back? You say, yo! You, so who are you yelling to? Come on. You weren't yelling towards me? Else? Come on, Anthony. You want to yell towards me? No. no? You want All right. To continue, just wait, wait. All right. You can go back to work. You're dismissed, then. No problem. Yeah. You go back to work. Dismissed. Right. I'm fine. I'm, I'm. I'm Gucci. What do you mean am I all right? Are you all right? Is he all right? He's coming in hot right now. Is he all right? Yeah, I'm all right. You guys are all right. <laughs> We're all right. 
Everyone's yeah, everybody's all right. Put your phone down. Put your hands up. Why? Well, for what? Put your hands why? Why, why am I getting arrested? Arrest. For what? You stole that in the orange from the store. The pressing charges. Get the f out of here! The orange stole on the floor. You arrested yeah. me for yeah, they're pressing charges. Are you right. stupid yeah. for fucking orange? Yes. You guys are a fucking joke. You know that? See what I'm saying? You guys like to violate my rights. Every right. single time, bro. Every single time. This is a joke. This is a joke, bro, for an orange that I walked by, that I know the guy, and it fell on the floor, and I picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are funny, man. You know why? You got to grudge out for me, because you know why? Martin and what's his name wants to violate my rights. You guys do it. You do it to me all the time. So who's the Kevin here, Tucker or the guy? I don't care, man. Okay, just here. You are the worst human being. Known to man. I want you to know that we're going to this thing, to the United States, to everything else in this world. I don't care that you're not here. What you have done to people's families, what you have done to everybody else in this system. Don't become a son of one. This tourist poked the royal guard's horse in the eye, resulting in the horse biting her. Let's hope she learned her lesson. Take a look at this Karen who decides to harass this woman's autistic child for simply spinning on a chair. I'm now recording you. You have just told my son he's rude for spinning on a chair. Yes. How dare you? He's autistic. How dare you? I dare very easily. I think the child has been spinning on that chair. And he's allowed. The woman who works here has just told you that he's allowed. How dare you pinpoint my son? You don't even know him. I know he's an ill-behaved child. Ill-behaved child? I think you need a little word with yourself, madam. I don't think you need to talk to me anymore and leave my son alone. He's a big Imagine claiming a delivery driver didn't complete their job, but you didn't order the service in the first place. Look at this crazy sh man. Like, like, for real, bro. She want me to hit her. No, I just want you to put the refrigerator in the house. We can't lift that thing. We don't even have a dolly. We'll go down to the Home Depot, rent a truck, and pick one up and bring it up. A group of friends sees a guy who appears to be a very bad driver and decides to go tease him a little bit because his day clearly wasn't going bad enough already. get your license because like how does that happen are you like going really fast i don't need to talk to you okay oh no i'm just asking a question yeah, yeah, no, you don't need to know either oh no i was just asking a question you can't park there man come on <laughs> <laughs> you nah can't. yeah bro you can't park there bro hey you know i got you so you want him know that you can't park there you can't, you can't park there take a look at this woman who got angry at these workers for doing their job No, just, just let her go, I'm man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why? I'm just gonna leave on well, I mean, she, she went crazy, bro. This guy got accused of stealing at what seems to be a family dollar store, and he just couldn't help but make a scene about it. Single thirty. Ain't did nothing wrong. Call him. What do I look like? Randy, you too. Don't tell me that I stole. Did you, did, you, did you see it, bro? Thank you, bro. Thank you. I got, I got a witness right here. Thank you. I got another witness right there on camera. Did nothing wrong. You don't about none of that. I didn't do anything wrong. The yellow hoodie. Yep, yellow hoodie. Mom hair. Sexy little mother. Uh, uh, 
chiseled out, handsome, bronze figure. Like a god. What are you talking about? I don't know. Yeah, you yeah, you gonna know. They'll know when they get here. Tell them call all that boy. Tell them to bring them all. Tell them to bring the whole cavalry. Give a f I didn't do nothing wrong. I ain't going nowhere. Tell them they ain't gotta worry about it. I ain't gonna run. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Ain't nobody gonna run. Enter the scene as this woman requests a mechanic to change her oil and repair the air conditioner. To her dismay, the mechanic takes advantage by using her car for a food run, and she catches him red-handed. You're telling me that you're test driving the car? No, why are you test driving my car? You're getting food at Tommy's. I took my car to the dealership so you could change the oil and change the air conditioner. Why are you driving my car to get food? In the driveway of Tommy's. He's in the driveway of Tommy's. He says, and why are you you're gonna break my tires? There's a car behind you. What are you doing? What? Why are you going in reverse? If you hit my tires, you're gonna change my rims and my tire. Why are you doing this? You're getting nervous. Well, why are you nervous? You're not supposed to be getting food when you're supposed to be, my car's supposed to be at the dealership. This disgruntled customer isn't happy with his McDonald's experience and he's ready to let everyone know. Armed with his smartphone, he confronts the employees and starts recording every second. Oh, that's all right. I already got it. Yes, I can. Actually, you, yeah, can. I can. you need to get the hell out of the store now. Oh, okay. And you can ask me to stop filming, but I don't have to stop filming. Okay, and the only reason why I'm doing bye. this is just to get a picture of your face, okay? And I won't stop until you're fired, okay? Okay. Bye. I'm a 30-year customer of McDonald's. No this is what a young employee, this is what the youth of today is doing now. You're treating 30-year customers. Oh, I know where it is. Thank you, dear. Okay. Bye. Watch as this Karen takes it upon herself to treat a guy to an unexpected free car wash. Thanks for cleaning my windshield. Welcome. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm... See this guy's footage capturing a heated exchange with virtually everyone living on his street. His frustration mounts as he complains about the ongoing issue of road blockage by vehicles, particularly those of the guests visiting these houses. Causing a noise disturbance. Okay. You can't, you're filming me. If, if, you're filming me yes. just to try to antagonize me. Because you're threatening me. Why don't you get yourself and your dumbass haircut back on your property? Now it's my hair. What's that? And it, it's everything about you. It's every so all you do why do cause, you have to be such a self-important piece of shit? cause a disturbance what why why, why would i cause a disturbance lawn with your truck over there i what you're an idiot i what her lawn you were an idiot i did what to her lawn you're, exactly you're just you're talking an shit. An you're, an you're just talking shit because up, you ain't got nothing better go up there this is public property i can be able to i want get on your property no. stop acting like a moron and no. go the other way no These people are having a freaking pool Great. party it's against Oh, would you like me to show you it's exactly the where? Law for you to look that stupid. No, it's not actually. There's no ordinance for that. Would you like me to show you the ordinance where you're wrong? I'm, I'm telling you right now, get on your property. What are you gonna do? Get on your property. What are you gonna do? I'm telling you right now. What are you gonna do? Get on your property. I'm on public property. You stay on your property. You like to antagonize people? Is that what you do? You're no. An antagonist. Is that like when you screamed at me you're at the bottom an of the hill? That's what you want. Why don't you take your shitty antique? That, that needs to be rewired every year. You step on this property. I'm I have no need to step on out. your property. Well, just come out here and do it. Why don't that. you come out here and do it? Step on that step. I will not. Are you inviting me out. onto your property? Are you inviting me onto your property? You, you Is that what you just did? You make a choice. Because I'll make. Your yeah, Jeremy, ugly. go inside. Listen your to your wife. Uglier. Yeah, Jeremy, go inside. Listen to your wife. I'm, don't threaten people I'm, randomly. I'm warning you. Of what? What are you going to do? I'm warning you. What are you going to do? Excuse me, we have to I don't care. I don't care. Get out of the road. What are you going to do? No kidding. I mean, you don't even... I don't even... I, don't, I live right there. I use this road to get home. Get back on your property. No. Park somewhere else. Look how, look, look how, look how stupid... Use your driveways. Go park downtown. You could park downtown and carpool. There are options. You can take a different road to your house. I don't have to. Simple as that. I don't have to. I don't have to. This is 10, 1, uh, 10, 9. It's the rule. You're not supposed to park within 200. Huh? I live in this town. I live right there. I live right there. It's three other roads I go there. Sure. It's one day. We're having our daughter's birthday party. 
Congratulations. It's repetitious. It's all the time. Yeah, I'm not rep- we don't really? Rep- when the uh, the little blue car and the Subaru and yeah, that car. We, we have four cars that live here. We have two driveways. Why are they parked in the road then? I've had the blue car and that car both parked right here across this and his truck. I do, but you're not Where supposed to. We try to. Yeah, we are. We can park on our. No, property. you're not supposed to park within 200 feet of the incline so of a hill. Sir, you have to understand. We have lived here for 22 years. Great, I've been here for 11. And we do not block this road. You have. I've had to back up because you guys were parked out in the road. Listen, I have had to do it myself. Why don't you just get out of here? Put your phone away. You're not a big shot. No. Okay. I mean, this is crazy. We can't even. Public drunkenness. Stay out of the f-ing road and stop being an inconvenience to the rest of your neighbors. Why is that so hard? It's not inconveniencing them, and they're across from us. Because you, you, you guys are all doing the same shit. You couldn't get a fire truck up through here. Yeah, you could. No, you couldn't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. But here we have an elderly Asian Airbnb host who was slapped in the face by a group of racist guests in Chicago. These people rented his Airbnb, were being loud and smoking, so the owner wanted to kick them out. They asked for their money back, which he returned. But as he was handing the group their money back, one of the guests just slapped him across the face. Get your money! Get! Get! Damn! Damn. Okay, Brian, what, what did you want with us? We, we, we. Oh. What are you doing on this phone? FedEx workers must have to deal with a wide range of Kevins and Karens, just like this one. Beat you, stupid monkey. Come on, hey, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Come on, get out, dumb. I'm doing what? Are you a dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Park. You want me to around with a white man? You run over my dog, I will show Ain't nobody running over nothing. Black Lives Matter. Hey, welcome to Facebook. Hey, what's this customer appears to be dissatisfied with the service he is receiving at this fast food restaurant. Let's find out why. It's not on the receipt because you didn't add it on the receipt. You, know what you never heard me. You don't speak English. I said okay. I want honey garlic. I know what I said. I, I want it separate. Okay? Put it on here. I don't need nothing free from you. Okay? okay? Open your ears. This is for okay. that. Wait, this is for okay. this. It's separate. Pay and- yeah, don't piss me off. Yeah. You can't even make extra cheese. Okay. You pay You're the problem, not me. You oh, man, what are you going to tell them? That you can't make pizza? What are you going to tell them? You can't make pizza? You think I'm going to f*** you? You're just trying to threaten me on 911? What are they going to do? No, I'm yelling at you. It's not I'm using language, I'm yelling. I'm only yelling. Looks like both the customer and the cashier are having a rough day. This Karen aggressively confronts a young family who is simply trying to capture some beautiful family photos at the park. With an air of entitlement, Karen marches over to the family and proclaims that the public park is not their professional studio, demanding that they leave immediately. Let's play the clip and take a look. <laughs> we don't know who this person yeah. is. Get out. Because this, uh, is, not your, this is not your professional I studio space. I understand. Yeah, so get out! Every week, they were here yesterday, I called the police. Yesterday, every weekend, until Christmas. They'll be I here wasn't every here. day. All right, we'll see you next weekend. Bye, thank you. Yeah, next weekend. You'll be here next weekend when I call the police again. Because right. you don't care thank about you. anybody but your own goddamn self. Have a great this is day. not your studio. Okay, this is a park for kids and children you, and people. Ma'am, you better walk you away soon business. before I call the this police is, on you. God, call them, Because please. this is not called my, for in front phone? of my children. Call the police. This right. is not called for. You know what? I'll call them right now. I'll call them right now. Man, let go my boss man right now. We're taking pictures. Babe, babe, just go ahead. Wrap up. This is not your studio. She must be still.
babe, go over there and videotape. You know yeah, you let's videotape, videotape you. Yeah. We're gonna move, sir. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're gonna move because they're on their way. Honey, I don't care. And you know you don't. I don't care. Me. I don't care. You have a dying father like me. I don't give a. Is your father dying? Mm. Check out this Karen taking it upon herself to disrupt a kid's private birthday party and cause a scene. We had a Cuz we're black. 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 Get ready for train drama showdown between a resilient homeless woman and a determined young guy. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You don't watch it, honey. What you say, lady? Better watch what you say. Yo, Karen. Huh? I'm watching the whole thing. Alright, no, did. Yes, did. No, I didn't. Yes, you you did. full of. No, okay, I'm watch. I watch the whole deal. No, you did. You go you on. You having a problem? You homeless? That's the problem. Don't take it out on him. He take it out it. on your city leader. He said it. He said no, he's gonna beat me up. And I yeah, but yeah, but you got on there with him. That's a minor. Okay, get that right. Don't look at color. Look at the age. He's bold. Okay? He's a thug. That's a man. He's no, he's not. Thugs. He's a human being. I don't have to like your colors. Keep walking, keep talking. Go that way. Yeah, yeah. Woman, that's... you better get on with your problem. You can't go around here calling people, okay? I that is said over it. with. Get on. He said. Get on. I don't want to hear that. You get the on. Time your music. Let that go. You want trouble, you can't let it go. Okay? You get the fuck on. Low life. Yeah. Experience the chaos as a crazy Kevin in the neighborhood goes berserk on his neighbors. When they try to address the situation, he escalates it by throwing punches, but soon after, the cops show up and take him away for his wild and violent antics. He stole something from us. So you're gonna sit there and block the uh, gate off? Okay, it's not, it's not right. Sir, it's illegal. Sir, if you wanna go talk to you, you're not gonna do it. Don't come to my house. Sir. Enter the scene where a Karen expresses her displeasure with a guy's parking and preventing him from leaving until the police arrive to issue a ticket. Sir, I want you to know that I called the police and you're not going anywhere. Why did you call the police? Because you should have to pay for parking like an Pay for par I just just dropping something off really quickly. I don't quickly. Really care what your reason is. The police are on their way and I'm just really tired of people like you with no respect for how The to police park. are not coming. Yes, they are coming. No, they are not. Yes, they are coming. For what? To give you a ticket. For what? Parking like an idiot. That's not a thing. There is a law against it. No, there's not. You're there's handicap parking and you don't look handicapped. I'm good. I'm trying to leave right now, but you're no, not letting you're not me. Leaving. Yes, I am. I'm gonna no, you're leave. Not. You're not leaving. What? You're not going anywhere. What are you doing? I'm just gonna make sure you stay here. For what? For what reason? I don't. Are you, are you you're filming me now? I'm filming you filming me, yes. You know why? Why? Because you're an idiot. Because I'm I want a bit. 
The you police proof will of what? see this video. The proof of that you park like an idiot. You're filming me. That doesn't even show anything besides me. You're behind the wheel. Yeah, I know. But you I'm hanging on your car. Why would I do that unless you park like an idiot? I don't know. This is insane. I'm just trying to leave. I dropped something off to my friend, and now I'm going to leave. I, I don't, don't really care what your reason is. Double, double parking and causing other people to have to go around you. People have a life, you know. It's not all about you. you I'm not narcissist. saying that it is. I'm saying I'm just trying to leave. Get off my mirror. You're not going anywhere. What What do you mean? I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. I'm You're supposed to sit here and be still. <laughs> Are you the cops right now? Are I am you... right now until they get here. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Wait, you know I'm... what? If I what? raise you, I would make you stay in your room. You would make me say, okay, you're, this is insane. You're just a complete rando, like, hanging on my mirror right now because I parked not up to your standard. You know what? It's not what? up to anybody's standards. You see that sign right over there? It no. It says, no idiots allowed. There is no sign over there. There is a sign. That says what? No idiots allowed. I'm going to leave. No, you're not. What? Like, you can't just hold me hostage Yes, here. I can. For what? You're going to get a ticket. For what? I don't understand. To help pay for the city, the, the potholes. Your tickets help pay for potholes. And at least there's some good that can come from you being an idiot. So you're going to hold me hostage because you're trying to help out the potholes. I'm trying to help out the city. I am a good citizen. By holding me randomly hostage? Yes. That is not being a good citizen. Citizen's arrest. You can't put me under citizen's arrest? Yes, I can. Until the police come, I sure can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. And if you move this truck... You're going to hurt me, and if you hurt me, I'm going to sue you. So then you're going to be in a whole world of trouble. You can't sue me. You're hanging on my car. I can sue you if I feel like it. What's your name? You're going to sue me for... I'm not going to tell you my name. What's your name? Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Yes. All right. Wow. That tells me a lot about your mentality and why you would park get, like an idiot. Get off my car. I'm I seriously going to move. No. I'm going to move. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Get off my car now. No. The truck driver making a delivery had an encounter with this Karen, who started yelling and arguing with him. The McDonald's manager resorts to calling the police on a customer insistent on receiving a pup cup, despite this McDonald's not offering them. For those unfamiliar, a pup cup is just a small cup filled with whipped cream. Can I have to ask you to leave, please? I, I'm, I'm doing a video. I'm going to need you to leave, sir. Uh, why was the reasoning why you won't we give me a pup we're, cup? We're not about to do cup, pup cups. Yes, you are. I come here two, three times a week, every week, and get a pup cup. Every time we're I come here. We're not supposed to do pup cups. If they're doing it, they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's a, do you not understand? It's just a little cup of whipped cream. So I need you to leave, please. Why won't you give me a pup cup? Because we do not do pup cups at this establishment. Bullshit. Came here yesterday and got a pup cup. Somebody hand me the phone, please. 
She's calling the police because I want a pup cup. Let's see what the police have to say because a, a person wants a pup cup. Seriously, you're calling the police because someone wants a pup cup. That's absolutely <laughs> absurd. It's absolutely ridiculous. Cassopolis, Michigan. No, that's absolutely ridiculous. All you have to do is put some goddamn whipped cream in a f cup and so that my dog can have a pup cup. And I was paying for it. I asked to pay for it. You, you McDonald's people need to start, start, like, come on now. It's a freaking pup cup. Irrigant McDonald's manager right there, right there. Cassopolis, Michigan. I'm going to corporate with this. Court McDonald's doesn't support dogs, but you want me to round up to support the freaking kids every time I come here? It's a little bit of whipped cream in a cup, and I'm paying for it. It's a pup cup. Quit being so stubborn. Just give me a freaking pup cup. This could all be averted with a little bit of whipped cream in a cup for my dog. This is why America's going to people like you. We don't do pup cups. I came here two, three times a week and get a pup cup. Tell me I can't get a pup cup. Wait till you lose your job when I send this to corporate. I'm waiting until the police get here. Not much, man. It really didn't need to escalate like this, but uh, I'm only recording for my safety and because of what they're doing. But I come here two, three times a week, almost every like day. And I just asked, I was like, hey, I bring my dog because she gets excited every time I come to McDonald's because I get her a little pup cup. After the police officer showed up, the guy decided to rant on the worker a bit more, telling them this is why America is going to it and that he never coming back to this joint ever again. I literally asked let if just, I can. Let me just talk to him first. I second. literally just came up to the window. I was like, hey, can I pay for a pup cup, just a little cup of whipped cream? And she's like, no, we don't do that. I'm like, what are you talking about? I came here yesterday and got a pup cup. I'm like, what's the big deal? It's just a little whipped cream and a little cup. And she's sitting there making a big deal saying, we don't do pup cups. You need to leave. I want you to leave. I'm like, hold on. I'm going to pull up my phone. I'm like, you guys are really refusing to give me a pup cup for 35 cents that, you know, it shouldn't be asking. And she's like, I'm calling the cops if you don't leave. I said, go ahead and call the cops because I want to document this because they're calling the cops on a customer, a paying customer that comes here regularly. Mm -hmm. We're just out here to keep the peace. That's, that's what I want. You said you were uh, screaming at them and yelling at them and videotaping them. And... I wasn't screaming so, or yelling. You're getting McDonald's manager right there. Just give me a freaking pup cup. This is why America's going to people like you. I'm gonna I'm gonna send the video to Paul. He good with you? He's good with me. Okay, man. Your band find another place. That's I cool. don't know if, if, if I won't come back here. I, don't, I, I don't, appreciate that because I, I understand your part, but I don't yeah. want to see you beating the aggressor and coming back. That's Absolutely. All right, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. All right. Fist bump. Right. Fist bump works.